Hey everybody, this is Glettercat and it's time to play. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Incremental Factory. This game is available in early access now on Steam and it's kind of a minimalist factory builder um, slash idle game now, but it's, it's quite a bit different than other idle games I've played. There's a lot of strategy in how we're going to build out our factory here. It's clearly minimalist, as you can see. This is, the main, this is our main screen to start out with. Uh, there is a small tutorial guide here. If we click this, basically it's just reminding us that, hey, it's an early development. There's going to be bugs and missing features. It tells us where to report bugs. It gives us a link to the Discord. And then there's a link here to a tutorial window. Let's pop that open just to show you what, what's here. Uh, this is also minimalist, but it is helpful to get you started. Um, explains a few of the different views in the game. We're going to see this, so I'm not going to walk through the tutorial. But there is a tiny bit of help here to get you started. Um, but man, it's kind of a cool game. I've been playing it for about, I don't know, 40 minutes. And I just got the urge to um, kind of create content and get this game on your radar. Let's start. Oh, one more thing. There's a way up here in the top right of the interface. There's ways to export your game, upload a game. And then there's a button here that allows you to kind of reset the game. Um, and we may get into this later. This is, uh, yeah, resetting your game, but also there's a point where you can get um, rewards by resetting your game that carry into the next game. We'll maybe see that as we play on. There's also a light mode and a dark mode. We're gonna play with the dark mode on. It's a little easier on the eyes. So let's get to it. What do we do in this game? What do we do <laughs> in this game? So as an idle game, the first thing we're going to need to do is just click on the only button on the screen, which is stone here. So we're going to kind of explore this together. I'm going to keep clicking on stone until I see something happen. All right, check it out. We just somehow managed to unlock a building uh, called a kiln. And if I hover over kiln, it says this costs us 10 stone. And it's going to take an input of two stone and it's going to take an input of coal. Let's build this thing by just clicking on the plus button here. Get a little status message at the top left. It says production rate statistics unlocked. And now we can see a little bit more about the resources we have available to us. We can mine coal. We can mine stone. With the kiln that we purchased or built, we can now make bricks. And then we've also got the ability you make iron plates if we build an iron smelter. This building slots information here where it says building slots, one of 64. That's how many of these buildings we can place kind of in this parcel, or you can kind of consider it a factory. In this existing factory, these are our buildings. We've got one, it's a kiln, and we've got room for 64 more buildings. Let's... um. Let's see what's it take to build a smelter. We need 10 bricks. Let's mine some more stone. It'll get automatically processed by our kiln. And let's see if we can get some bricks built. In fact, we're gonna need to mine coal actually to power the kiln. So let's do some manual mining of that. I'll keep our kiln fueled up. Then more stone. I'm just clicking here to get some bricks built. Now we've got bricks. And let's build the iron smelter. It takes 10 bricks to build it. It's going to consume two iron ore every cycle, uh, a fifth of a piece of coal, and then it's going to produce an iron plate every cycle. We'll build one of those. Now we've got the ability to produce iron plates, and I can mine iron ore now. So let's click on that like crazy. We're going to automate this in a little bit. Click on this, you can see we're starting to produce some iron plates at the bottom, down here, through our smelter. And now we've unlocked a coal mining machine. It takes 10 iron plates and 10 bricks. We've got both of those, let's do that. Now we're getting coal automatically mined for us. So no more clicking on coal unless we want to. And we've got something down here for a coal power plant. Hmm, 15 iron plates. 15 bricks, we need more bricks. I don't have a stone miner, so I'm gonna have to click this manually to get some more bricks going. Uh, and what do we need? 15 iron plates, we've got those. 
If this is going to take coal and I'll put coal ash, that's kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and build it. it. Says energy and pollution monitor is now unlocked. And what do we get? We got the ability to build an iron miner. That's awesome. 10 iron plates. We need to make some more iron plates. So let's uh, manually mine some iron. Now we've got all the iron plates we need. We'll build an iron miner. Now we no longer have to hand mine iron. And let's do the same thing for this stone miner. We need 10 iron plates and 10 bricks. So I got to get two more stone mined by hand so we can get the bricks we need. And we'll get a stone miner going. Um, down here at the bottom, if I click on these little resources, it's going to show us what our production rate is. How many we have on hand? I think it shows yeah how many buildings we've got. And then how many do we have globally, bricks that are global? Uh, we'll see what global means in a little bit. We can only view the local factory here. Uh, but we're going to unlock something that's going to allow us to create more factories, see um, more global view of everything of the world, the game world. All right, what else we've got? We got coal mining happening automated. We've got iron mining automated. We're making bricks automated. We're making iron plates automated. We're getting coal ash as a byproduct, I guess, automated from our power plant. Let's see what's next. We got a copper miner here. 10 iron plates and 10 bricks. We've got both of those. Let's just fire that up. Now we're getting copper ore. Um, we have a gear press and a copper smelter. Copper smelters, 15 bricks. Two ore. It takes two ore and a couple tenths of coal, and it gets this copper plates. Let's just do that for the heck of it. We're producing copper plates. That unlocked something for us. Gear press takes 30 iron plates, 25 bricks. Takes iron plates, turns them into gears, buy one of those. And you can see as we're adding buildings, we're kind of ticking off on our capacity. We've got nine buildings built out of 64 available slots. Energy's at 467%. I'm not sure what that's about. I think that means we're not using much energy. There's a little arrow here. Let's do the drop down. Shows our the details of our energy usage. Usage six, our production is 28. Our fulfillment ratio is we're whatever, you know, four and a half times more than we need energy. Do the math, that kind of adds up. Building value 48, I'm not sure what that's all about. Energy value six, I don't know if that's a usage thing, but there's some statistics on our energy usage. Uh, now we're producing gears in an automated fashion as well. Get rid of that little window. And cable extruder. This one takes 20 gears and 30 bricks. We've got both of those. And it's going to take in copper plates and spit out copper cables. Let's do it. Okay, now we're getting closer to having more of a game to actually play than what we're doing so far. Research center. 35 gears. We've got them. 50 bricks. We've got them. Um, takes 50 copper cables. We just now have those. So let's build a research center at this location. Check it out. We just unlocked um, some new views here, or one new view, which is research view. Let's click that and see what this is about. Okay. Looks like there's a bunch of different things we can research. It's showing the cost here. Um, me being colorblind is going to be a little bit of a problem. I can kind of tell these two colors apart. Um, so what we need to do is find a way to make these little research files or science packs. This is basically our research tree. Um, like there's a fair amount of stuff here. Game's still under development, but there's a decent selection here. We can see, oh man, I don't know if this is fully implemented. I guess maybe we'll find out. Um, looks like there's six different types of science packs here. If we look at the bottom right, beacon technology. Six different kinds. All right, we got to start at the beginning. We do have a red science laboratory. Let's see what this guy takes. 50 gears. We're not there yet. 50 bricks. We do have. We're waiting on gears. 
Uh, what we could do is amp things up a bit. Let's get another ore iron miner. Well, it looks like we need iron plates for that. Hmm. Let's take our gear guy. I'm going to actually turn that guy off or basically disassemble or get rid of our gear factory. I need some plates. I want to kind of ramp up our iron processing. So let's get another iron miner. And another iron miner. You can see here the production rate kind of goes up as we add iron miners. Yeah, it doesn't take any kind of fuel or anything. Should be getting, what is this? One iron ore per building. We have three. The rate says one. Not sure what the rate is based on. Real and max. Oh, max is three. Am I only at one for iron ore? Plates, input. Sure, why that wouldn't be three now that we have three iron miners. Either way, we're accumulating iron. Let's get another smelter down, iron smelter. Now our iron ore is declining. Let's put another miner on this. I'm just kind of scaling up some of this early production so we're not waiting for building materials. Now iron ore is holding steady, creating iron plates. I'm going to go ahead and bring the gear press back. Hopefully we'll have some uh, building materials here. Okay, we need 50 gears and 50 bricks. This is going to take copper cables and gears, and I'll put that first science, which is red science. Let's get that built. Okay, that instantly unlocked green science for us. This, however, in order to build it, takes Gen 1 chips. We don't have the ability to make those. If you look at the pop-up, the cost of this green science laboratory is 80 Gen 1 chips and 80, 180 steel. We don't have the ability to make steel yet either. Um, we've got 14 red science. Let's look at the research tree. There's our red science. That must be red. <laughs> I have no, no idea. I cannot see that color like everybody else. Um, but we've got 20 science. About 20 red science. We need 40 to unlock the first piece of research here. Unlocks the map, which is going to give us a whole other view into the game. Huge part of the game right there. And then the ability to build more parcels. Parcels are kind of like factory sites. Um, and we'll see that as soon as we get this research done. Let's take a look at our little parcel here. Um, what else could we be scaling up? Got 64 building slots. Let's scale up. I happen to know just from my initial little playthrough, we're going to need lots of bricks. We're going to need lots of iron plates. So while we're waiting on things, let's get a couple more stone miners going. Um, my kiln is going to take, what, 10 stone. Get another kiln going. I know we're going to, like I said, I know we're going to need a lot of bricks. Stone, how about another stone miner? And then as, as we need more building space, we can kind of get rid of some of these buildings to make room for new ones. But right now we've got 44 slots just sitting idle waiting for us to do something. Go a little bit more on the iron too. Two more iron miners. About three more iron miners. And another iron smelter. See. Iron miners produce one ore. Smelters consume two. So it's kind of like a two to one. So we'll go with four iron smelters and eat twice as many iron miners. Yeah, and then the iron amount is holding steady. Coal is now starting to uh, decline a little bit. We might need to add a coal miner. That's our iron smelters that are chewing up that coal, and so are the kilns. A stone. Stone's holding steady, and kilns do what? Two stone for a brick. Yeah, we've got twice as many stone miners as kilns. That makes sense. Let's do two more, though. Let's go six. Actually, let's go eight and four on the kilns, too. And then just keep an eye on our coal for a second. 
145, 144. Might need to add a coal miner. All right, let's get back to the real work at hand. We now have 84 red science, 85. Let's unlock this research. Click it, boom, instantly unlocked. And we're getting some status messages. It says uh, buildings unlocked. Oh, rolling up here at the top left of the screen. Production rate statistics unlocked. We saw that. Research unlocked, steel making research unlocked. Trying to scroll that window up there. All right. Oh, and we have the map view. Boom. Are you impressed? There's our map. <laughs> so this is our parcel. And again, I think of a parcel as kind of being like a factory site. And I think the zero of eight is how many connections can we have um, hooked up to this this parcel or to this factory. And I'm guessing it's inputs and outputs, but we'll see as we discover. Uh, what we can do here is add new sites. Right now, the only kind of factory site that we can um, create or add is a basic one, and that has limited connections coming in and out of it. We're gonna see that in a minute. Fit view just, I think, zooms in to make whatever your factory layout uh, fit on the screen. Add would be to add a site. We're gonna do that in a bit, but not right now. Let's um, get out of this view. We can just click on headquarters. That's our main factory where everything's taking place or our main parcel. We could rename it if we want. I think we'll just leave it as HQ. All right, Red Science, we unlocked steel, I thought. Uh, I'm not seeing it here. Say steel making research is unlocked. Oh, the research is unlocked. We still have to research it. Let's do it. We've got 84 red science. Take 60 to unlock steel making. Let's do it. Boom. Back to our factory. There's steel. Now this is where we can kind of play with um, building out a new site or a new parcel. Let's do it. For a steel mill, we need 100 iron plates. We have them. We need 400 bricks and we have them. That's why I kind of scaled up these iron plates and bricks. Let's make a factory that produces steel. And we're going to do it as a whole new site. We'll go to the map. I'm going to say, let's add a parcel. Boom. I'll click on here. Now I've got a new factory site, right? Brand new. This factory site, if I want to build things, I'm able to leverage the inventory in from headquarters, but only from headquarters, as far as I know. So to the extent we've got 100 iron plate or 1,000, 1,300 iron plates sitting in headquarters, I have access to them from my other factories. But it's only this, this block's inventory that gets shared that way. Let's build some stuff here. Uh, we want a steel factory. So I can actually probably Build this steel mill right off the bat. Let's do it. See, boom. Okay, and you'll see in this factory site, we've only got 16 slots for buildings. So this is kind of the, I think what they call the basic. Yeah, basic. So that's our first basic. We get to build eight basic parcels. This is our first one. Back, go back in there. Oh, come on, let me in. There we go. Um. And so we want to make this a steel factory. What does steel need? Steel needs iron plates as an input. So we're going to need all the, the basic stuff. An iron miner. For those, two iron smelters. That should get us plates. Uh, we're going to need coal for fuel, a coal miner, right, to fuel our smelters. Now we're getting some iron plates being produced. Um, iron ores being produced. Coals being produced. Steel. There it is. Steel is now starting to get produced. Let's max this place out, this factory. In fact, we can rename this. Try it. I haven't tried this. Hopefully it's not buggy. This is going to be steel factory. And yeah, let's max this thing out. So I think we said it's two miners per smelter right so let's get some more of those another smelter don't need a kiln do you need coal 
I need to make sure that coal number is climbing, not declining. Yeah, that looks good. I've got room for five more buildings. Iron plates aren't looking great. Our steel mill is consuming them as fast as we can make them, basically. So let's go two more iron miners, one more smelter. See what that does to our iron plate count. Like our steel factory is still keeping up. This guy wants five iron plates per cycle. We're just about out of buildings. The best I could do, maybe an extra iron miner? Try that. Maybe even another. It says it takes two, producing nine, and there's four of these. There should be, our iron should be slowly climbing, is it? Yeah, it is. The best I can do here if I want to max my steel production is maybe one more smelter. Um, if the coal starts going down, we're going to be in trouble. Looks like coal is perfect. Minus zero per second. <laughs> so we've got enough coal being produced. We fuel our five iron smelters. So we've got nine iron miners going. And iron ore is declining. That's kind of to be expected. I can't do anything else, though. We're at 16 out of 16 factories, and I need everything I got. So now what? So now we're making steel. How can we make use of this steel? Uh, what we can do is export it and send it to our headquarters. Let's pick output, little checkbox here, for point. And let's go to the map. Now, our little steel factory that we just built has this iron icon as an output node. So I just click this and drag it. Boom. And it shows we're sending eight steel per second over to headquarters. So let's look in headquarters. And if we look down at the bottom of the list here of products, there's steel coming in. It's climbing. We didn't have to build a steel mill here. here. Um, naturally, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is try and get green science, get a green science laboratory going. Um, what's that gonna take? Gen one chips. Let's see if we can find out how to research those. Okay, basic electronics. We need 180 red science. Unlocks the gen one chip plant, quartz refinery, silicon furnace, bauxite miner, and aluminum smelter. We're still about 40 red science short. Go back to headquarters. What can we do to increase our red science production? We could put red science all into its own factory, but I don't know that we have enough buildings in like a basic parcel to pull that off. So we'll keep producing red science here. Uh, let's see, gears and bricks. Bricks are looking great. Oh, whoops, that's not what we need. Copper cables and gears. So I'm looking at the pop-up where it says inputs in order to produce the red science. Five copper cables and five gears. Gears are not looking good, right? Copper cables are looking fine. We've got a surplus, but gears are the shortage. Lots of iron plates. Let's get another gear press going. Boom. Iron plates are still climbing. Uh, barely climbing. I want to throw another gear press in here. Boom. Iron plates. Still climbing. Each gear press is going to consume, oh, a single iron plate. But it takes two cycles to produce a gear. So it's two iron plates for every gear. Um, doesn't hurt for us to have extra iron plates for building purposes. Don't necessarily want this number to go down. How are we doing on copper cables? Copper cables are now coming down since we're producing more gears. And gears and copper cables are being combined to produce our red science. Red science is climbing pretty nice. And we're still getting a slow stream of steel for later on coming from our steel factory. Let's uh, get to the research tree and unlock those circuits or chips. 
Got 197 research. This takes 180. Boom. Back to our headquarter factory. And oh yeah, a whole bunch of stuff just got unlocked. Uh, let's see. Green Science is going to want Gen 1 chips. The Gen 1 chip plant costs 350 steel, which we're almost there. We got 325. Bricks, we got plenty. We can almost build this. And I'm wondering if we should put this in another factory. You're going to want, oh man, you're going to want all kinds of stuff though. Silicon, copper cables, and aluminum. Let's see about silicon. Here's a silicon furnace. That's going to take its own 150 steel. We may need to ramp up steel production or build another steel factory at some point where I can just talk and talk until we have enough steel. Um, but if we do silicon, what if we had a remote silicon factory? This guy takes in quartz and dumps out silicon. And then quartz takes in three stone. This quartz refinery takes in three stone and spits out one quartz. Let's build a silicon factory and then, oh man. Let's build a silicon factory and then we'll decide if we're going to send silicon here or if we're going to send the silicon to yet another factory that's maybe making copper cables and can spit out chips and bring chips into headquarters or something. So yeah, let's silicon first. Let's go to the map. We'll add a node, add another factory. Still only have the ability to build these basic ones, which are kind of small. Boom, drop you down. Hop in with just a click. Now, got a bunch of buildings unlocked. Got a bunch of resources sitting at headquarters that I can use to build these buildings. And we want this factory to kick out Silicon. So let's call this Silicon Factory. Factory is probably redundant, but we'll leave that there for now. What do we need? We need stone, right? We know we need stone. Then we need the quartz refinery. It's going to take three stone and spit out a quartz. Let's do two of those and six stone miners. The quartz refinery need fuel? It does not. Okay, so now we're getting quartz. I'm not sure why the rate says zero per second. Oh, I guess it's because it's all not accumulating. It's all going into quartz creation. Now the silicon furnace, that is gonna need coal. I think we're gonna need a coal miner. Silicon furnace. This is a one-to-one -one with our quartz refinery, it looks like, right? Takes one quartz every cycle and spits out a silicon. Quartz refinery, yeah, spits out quartz every cycle. Let's get these to match up. Oh, what am I short on? Yeah, these are expensive. Probably steel, probably short on steel. Take a look. Out to the map, check headquarters. Look at our steel. Um, yeah, we have <laughs> we have thirty two. We need like one hundred and fifty. I think we could have actually seen that from within our factory. Let's uh, go back into this guy. Steel. If I click on steel, yeah, it shows the global amount down here. There's forty available to us. If we want to build another silicon factory. Uh, let's get this out of the way so I can see. Now there's silicon furnace. Yeah, we need 150. We don't have enough yet. We got room for six more buildings. Um, all should be just fine. If I were to build bricks here, I wouldn't be able to use those for building purposes in other buildings would only be for this, this plant. Definitely want one more silicon furnace. That's gonna take us down to five more buildings. So what could we do with that? We could do 
two more. Need two more stone miners. And one of each of these. Yeah, three stone miners. We could do one more quartz refinery. Then two silicon furnaces once we get the uh, steel that we need. We have some upgrades. We're waiting on steel. What we can do though is let's uh, set up the export. We're going to export silicon out of this factory. We're going to send it over to headquarters. We are already producing some, eight per second. Oh, yeah, look how low steel is. 29.34. Uh, let's take a look and see what's going on over here. Fellas, what's up with the steel issue? Okay, that we're zeroed out on iron ore. We have a little bit more smelter. One more smelter than we need. Main hold up here. It's 34%. Mill. Here that I need to be concerned about. Usage is 82, production is 28. Hmm. That's our, that might be our big problem right there. I'm not sure who's actually using energy. Smelter says it's using coal. Uh, coal's okay. Do we need to take back a smelter and put in a coal power plant? Let's just see what that does. So right now we're exporting steel. Uh, if we look at the map again, does it show it anywhere? There's the global amount. Let's go to the map. I want to see what our export rate is. 0.29 per second. Let's make a change now. We're going to pull back one of the smelters to make room for a coal power plant. Our ratio went up to 54%. Iron should start climbing because we've got one extra ore miner. Coal is starting to decline, maybe? That's not so good. But let's see now what our transfer rate is back to headquarters. 0.46. I think that's that's pretty anemically low. Not happy about that. About taking an iron miner back. Doing another coal power plant. We're at 74% fulfillment for our energy needs. But we gave up a smelter and we've given up an iron miner so far. Iron ore is Holding steady. Now getting coal ash as a byproduct, and let's see what what that did. Point six three, point five three. So it's gone up a little tiny bit, right? I think. Sure. Let's take that back. Add the miner. Let's see five four. Yeah, I guess it didn't that didn't make much difference either way, right? Let's um let's look at headquarters real quick and see what we've got in terms of the steel. We've got 225, so let's go back to Silicon Factory. I'm not sure how to get that rate up. We'll have to see. Not happy about that that rate of production. It looks horrible. Um, let's finish what doing what we're doing here. We've got room for three buildings. I think we said, oh, what's the energy here though? 54%. Had the same issue here. Take a look at our export rate on silicon. Five four per second. Let's add a power plant. Uh, here. Okay, our fulfillment ratio went up. That clearly went up, right? 0.73 per second. So we didn't add any factories other than power. 
Power is a big deal. Looks like that's going to be necessary for all of our factories. Oh, man. Yeah, for these little small parcels where we only have 16 buildings we can build, that's a little bit of a concern. All right, coal is still climbing. Let's see if we can add one more coal power plant. Our fulfillment's at 73% on energy. Let's up it. Now it's at 93%. Coal is in decline. <laughs> uh, and how are we doing here? 0.93 per second. Ooh, look, that's improved up top. Uh, maybe not. 0 0.8. 0 0.93. What else can I build? On factory. Coal. Oh. It's curious if that coal, uh, where it says input, 1 quartz and 0.25 coal. I wonder if that's 0.25 coals worth of energy. I'm just not sure on the energy how to tell. Be right in front of me. Value energy value factor. I'm just not sure. Minimize that. Uh, we've got one building we can build left. Got ports on surplus. That one's holding up pretty good. In fact, it's perfectly matched. It's holding perfectly steady. Coal is declining. If I do another silicon smelter or a silicon furnace, may, we may end up running out of coal, but let's do it. Boom. And see what that did to our production rate. 1.69. Um, even with energy now, it's probably a little bit lower. Yeah, that's not bad, right? I think that looks pretty good. Back to headquarters. We're thinking about Gen 1 chips. That's what we're pursuing. Um, let's uh, tell you what. Let's end this episode here. We're off to what I think is a pretty good start. We've got two factories we built on our own. One that's just supplying steel. Production rate is a little puzzling to me on that one. Because it seems to oscillate. Oh, because we're out of coal. What do I have a surplus of? Iron ore. I'm going to take iron miner down and put in a coal miner. Do we have... Uh, yeah, we do have a coal power plant. We're at 84% usage. I was negative in the coal. Let's just check that. 0.72. 6.0. 2. Yeah, we have a couple factories built and we're feeding into our headquarters. We unlocked the red science. We unlocked um, this map view, which is pretty cool. We unlocked the research view. Um, we, looks like we are getting close to being able to research the next item. We need about 64 more or 63 more um, red science to unlock this advanced parcel. Oh, check it out. 48 buildings, four connections. That is way better. 48 buildings. Right now, we're only able to do eight buildings, I think. So yeah, we're off to a good start. Again, this is Incremental Factory. It's available now in early access on Steam. I'll put links in the description of this video to the Discord and the Steam page and all that good stuff. Um, if you like this content, please do give it a thumbs up. That'll help my tiny channel grow. And if you'd like to support the GliderCat channel, there are links to do so in the description as well. And I would be grateful for that support. Super grateful for my existing GliderCat patrons and channel members that uh, provide support to the channel. Um, with that, I will see you all in the next episode.